Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video is something that uh, many viewers have been asking for for some time, and it is a demo of Pattern by Etsy. Pattern, if you don't know, is Etsy's website building platform. So you can go in, build a website outside of Etsy, and manage all of your orders from one place because your, your orders from Pattern will still pull into your Etsy dashboard and you can still print out shipping labels from your Etsy uh, dashboard for Etsy and for your Pattern website. So if you're looking for an easy, simple, and cheap way to build your own website, you can use Pattern by Etsy, build it out quick, and still manage your orders from some place or from the same place. And this is uh, one of the positives of using pattern so i'm going to give you a live demonstration of pattern uh, how to use it it's very streamlined very easy to use and i'm going to give you some pros and cons of using pattern as well if you decide to go that route all right so let's dive in and i'll show you guys where to access pattern how to use it how to edit it how to navigate it so on your shop manager homepage down here on the left you'll see your sales channels um, you want to go ahead and go where it says want your own website or if you already have one uh, established it'll show it right there so we're going to go into want your own website and it's going to take us take us to the pattern dashboard so i already have my website designed here uh, on the pattern dashboard. Um, I used to use it, I don't use it anymore, um, but I used to use it early on in my journey just because it was so simple. Uh, it was very easy to use. And also it put my orders in the same shop manager section that my other Etsy orders were in. So I could print out all my shipping labels. I wouldn't have to go to a different place uh, to, to manage all of my orders. The nice thing about pattern too, is you can sell stuff outside of Etsy's guidelines, non handmade or vintage items you can sell in your pattern website because it's your own website. So you don't have to stick to Etsy's guidelines. However, you can't, you still can't um, put items that aren't vintage or are not uh, handmade in your Etsy store. If you have a pattern site, you can put them in your pattern site, um, but you can't put them in your Etsy store. And you can choose from your dashboard which items you put where. So it'll, there'll be a checkbox if you want to put it in pattern put it in Etsy or put it in both. You can choose that from your Etsy shop manager listings tab uh, where we were just at. But this is just your pattern interface and how it looks. Uh, and I'm gonna go through the tabs here on the left so you guys can see how to navigate, how to use pattern. Right, so the first one is just the dashboard. This is where we're at now. It'll have different stats, visits, orders, revenue. Uh, you can filter by today, yesterday, seven days, 30 days, and then 12 months. It'll have pattern uh, conversations where people message you from your website and you can manage those there. The next one is gonna be your website editor. This is where you can edit your banner image, your featured items, very similar to Etsy. Um, your collections, this is where you can have different collections uh, of your designs or whatever you're selling and you can edit those. Uh, down at the bottom, you can edit your pages home about contact us you can add an events page or a gallery page uh, and then you can also design change your design elements you can change your headline uh, font um, what types of fonts you want to use what type of colors you want to use what type of themes so there's different themes of how it all arrange your stuff uh, so there's not a lot and a lot of, this is one of the good things about pattern is it's very simplistic so if you're looking for an easy fast simple way to get your website up and running you can use pattern um, there's not a lot of design themes in here uh, you can you can do your brand your shop name and icon only shop name only shop icon that'll pull from etsy um, your listing page it'll have your photo gallery or stack photos uh, however you want to do the, however you want it to show in your listings but it'll have all your photos or just one um, that's only on your listings and then it'll have the ability to search and your reviews on there. You can turn that stuff on and off. You can also change at the top here. If you want an announcement, something, uh, some type of announcement at the top, you can choose to do that as well. So pretty easy. There's not, uh, here's where you can see you can change your logo. You can change your name uh, on your shop. You can preview it, publish it. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go back so you can edit. A lot of the stuff on here, um, you can do the editor on the left or you can click right here and go in and edit your website. So very simplistic, 
Uh, so it's good and bad, right? You don't have a, a lot of choices, but if you're not tech savvy, if you, again, wanna get something up fast, you can use Pattern and get it done within minutes, really. Uh, the next one is marketing. This is where you can set what your announcement section says. So you can add, remove, or edit your announcement section. That's what shows at the top uh, of the website there. You can add a custom email address. Um, so you can set that up here if you want, um, if you want people to have, if you want the ability to have a custom email address uh, for your actual website. You can link MailChimp if you want to start an email list through Pattern. Um, you can do Pinterest verification code for tracking. Um, and then you can do Google conversion tracking as well. If you want to set up Google Analytics, Pinterest Analytics, you can add, add that stuff. There's not a Facebook pixel uh, tracking on here, so you can't do Facebook. Um, but those are the marketing tools on here. Again, not a lot, very simplistic, but those are things that maybe you want to take advantage of. In the blog, you can write blog posts, which will show up on your main site. People can go in and read your blog posts. So if you want to start that, Start doing blog posts and then share those blog posts on social media, Pinterest, wherever to help drive traffic that way. Uh, domains, this is where you can go in and purchase or connect a domain. If you don't have one yet, you can go here and purchase it or you can purchase it at GoDaddy or wherever and connect your pattern domain. So you can search for domains right in here through the search box, see if they're available, see the pricing, and then you can go in and buy and register your domain or you can buy it elsewhere come in here and connect your domain. Depending on where you're buying it from, it may be easier or more complex. Um, again, it just depends. There's a lot of places to buy domains from. If you wanna make it easy on yourself, just go in here and buy it from the, the pattern uh, domain hosting site here. Settings, this is where you can do your billing, you can do your language. Again, it'll have your Google Analytics stuff uh, in here as well. Success Center, which isn't actually functioning when I clicked on that and it doesn't there's no page to it <laughs> you can preview your site right here and then the last one goes back to your shop uh, manager page where everything is managed you can manage your Etsy stuff uh, and then again you can pick which listings you choose to put on pattern Etsy or both but, but that is it in a nutshell as far as pattern not a lot to it it is pretty simplistic so now I just want to cycle through some of the pros and cons of Pattern. So Pattern, uh, the biggest pro is like, again, it's easy, easy to use. You can get it up and running fast. Uh, the other pro is it's very cheap. It's only $15 a month to use pro and there's no listing fees. There's no processing fees. There's no extra fees. So if you sell stuff on your Pattern website outside of Etsy, you're only going to be paying the $15 a month. You don't have to worry about extra fees, processing fees, credit card payment fees. Uh, a lot of the other competitors have those, such as Shopify. There's processing fees, credit card fees. Uh, so it can be very inexpensive to have pattern. Uh, so that is definitely probably the biggest pro other side, outside of the ease of use. It's very inexpensive to be able to set up your own website. Now, granted, you're gonna have to buy your own domain. You're gonna pay that yearly. So that's depending on your domain name, it can be anywhere from like 10 to $30. Now, if you have something that's a really popular domain name, it's going to be thousands of dollars and it's going to be a domain you're probably not going to use or, or buy or go after. So keep that in mind too. Uh, some of the cons is it's too simplistic. Some people want more features, more functionality, more choices, more design options when it comes to their site. Uh, there's not a lot of integrations. There's not a lot of, uh, as you saw, a lot of marketing opportunities, a lot of uh, integrations from apps and different things that you can do on other websites uh, out there. You can add a lot of integrations. There's a lot of more customization you can do with design elements. Uh, you know, you can do push notifications for, or pop-ups for people that are buying stuff, adding stuff to their cart, um, you know, checkout reminders, different stuff like that, that pattern simply does not have. Really, it seems like this is one of the things that Etsy rolled out a couple of years ago and they haven't done anything else with it. They haven't really put a lot of time, energy, or money into evolving pattern so that's kind of it's it's very status quo it's pretty much the same as it was a couple of years ago however if you are new uh, you want to start your website uh, you don't need a lot of bells and whistles and you want to save money doing it this may be a really good uh, opportunity for you to start a website add a little legitimacy to your business and do it uh, fast easy 
and uh, really simple, at least to start. And you can always transition your website like I did later on um, to another host where you have a lot more features and functionality. But if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of, you don't have a lot of time, you're not really tech savvy, uh, Pattern might be the right decision for you to, to start off with at least because it's so easy to use. I personally like that it brought all my orders into the Etsy shop dashboard and I can manage everything from one place. I didn't have to log into another website or forget about logging another, no, to another website, printing out shipping labels and processing those orders. So that's one thing that uh, is definitely a pro as well. That is it for this video. That is the overview of Pattern. If you're thinking about doing it, if you didn't even know about it or um, you just wanted more information about if you should do Pattern versus another website, those that's the overview of it, some pros, some cons, so you guys can make the best decision uh, for yourself when it comes to being able to use this. If you like these type of videos, uh, let me know, give me a like, share, comment, feedback. I appreciate uh, you guys watching. Uh, and I'll be back soon with another video for you.